and welcome if you're new. I'm Ava and today I'm sharing my spring decorate for 2022 and you guys I could not be more excited. I love warm weather and I love spring. It's just a beautiful season and over the last few weeks I've taken you guys into stores. I've shared some shop with me videos, shared with you guys what's new and for spring and we picked up a couple of staple pieces that will kind of last us throughout the year. So I'm super excited about the quality of the decor that I'm going to be decorating with today as well as the style. I feel like it's very trendy so I can't wait to put those pieces up. Um, today we're going to be primarily decorating in our living room area. I'm going to be restyling our shelves as well as our couches. So if you happen to like videos like that give this video a thumbs up and make sure you stick around because I'll be sharing more decorate videos in the next few weeks as well as some spring cleaning too. Can't believe it's time for all of that but we got to get everything all nice clean and fresh so without further ado i'm gonna run upstairs grab everything that we're decorating with today come back downstairs and get it all decorated Right, here is everything that we are decorating with down here and this is usually what I like to do I like to kind of lay everything completely out on the couch or on the floor and just see what I'm working with there are two pieces that are new but mostly everything you guys have seen already um, y'all know I love Target so if you love Target too I primarily decorate with a lot of their pieces because they're just so easy to decorate with and they just have some great finds also I love Studio McGee and just everything that she puts out the new pieces is this face right here you guys I love this face it is a it's from Crate and Barrel, and I thought it was just like the perfect size, the perfect shape. I was kind of looking for something like this anyway, um, and saw something like this similar at Kirkland's, but um, I think this one is just a lot more daintier and smaller. You can even just like put it on a stack of books. I, obviously, I don't have any books on there right now, but I'll show you guys how I plan to style it in just a minute. All right, I got another piece from Crate and Barrel 2, which is this cute little bunny. I love the unique bunnies like this, but you know what, guys? Y'all can find these in, um, I want to say TJ Maxx. I need to head there next, but TJ Maxx has some really cute ones. I just love how simple and small this one was and the price wasn't too bad on it either it was like I think it was 19 and I brought it or I bought it um when it was President's Day weekend and before we get to the best part of decorating I do want to let you guys know that today's video is in collaboration with a sweet new friend here on YouTube her name is Zakaya from Beautifully Living and she shares all different type of content very similar to what I share around home decor she also loves to do DIYs and she just has a creative spirit today she's sharing how to elevate your home decor for spring so I'll have her video listed in the description box below along with her channel be sure to check her out after you finish watching today's video and let her know that I sent you. So I'm starting out with removing all my decor from my winter decorate and mostly everything that I'm going to be using today is just really good neutral statement pieces. I just find with neutral decor you can kind of keep it up throughout the year as long as you want to or if you, even if you get tired of it you can put it in a new space and no matter what colors you're using it will kind of blend in with that. So really really love decorating with these pieces. I'm starting out here with these cute little books and then you're going to see me put this vase that I picked up from Craig and barrel but I'm actually going to put that somewhere else later in today's video so as I'm decorating I'm just going to take you through my process and just show you what I'm thinking about and how I usually style these shelves all right so while I'm I love both of those vases I think two vases right here is just giving me I don't know too much of vertical I don't know so I'm going to remove it I'm going to remove this and I'm going to replace it with this plant. Let me know what you guys think. 
I even tried this ball. So I wanted to show you guys as I'm decorating, like what is my thought process? At the bottom of the TV is like all of my accessories. And basically I like to have them all out um, because that way as I'm decorating, I can just kind of be creative in my mind. Let me know if you guys are the same way of just pulling everything completely out and looking at it as you decorate. But that just makes it a little bit easier for me and also helps me to use things that I have. I opted out for using filler in this scallop bowl. It was just too messy once I started using it and I knew it wouldn't stay. I'm probably gonna return that, but I decided to go with this little wooden chain link and I really love how it came out. I got the link from Target as well, but there's some really cute ones on Amazon. So I'll try to link some of those too. I'm gonna be leaving the top of this wall unit blank for the time being because I want to either DIY some moss bowls or I may purchase some and put them up there. Especially this bowl. This is like one of my favorite pieces. Um, this little finish right here, it just makes it a statement in itself. You don't really need anything with it. So love, love, love that. And I really like how this came out too. Y'all let me know what you think. Um, I went ahead and went with the plant right here instead of the vase and I really like that. So and then at the bottom, we have our scallop bowl with our little link chain. I thought that would go better than the potpourri bowl. So this is what we have on this side. Also went with the link chain right there to kind of balance it out with the urn vase over on the other end. So this is the urn vase and I was watching a show from Studio McGee and she kind of explained this piece. So either way, I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I love the structure of it and the color and I went with that link on the other side to kind of balance that color out. And then of course, these are super easy, nice to hide away your remote. And we've got our little bunny, the start of spring, the start of Easter right there. And that's it. And then we have our little picture. So very simple. Let me know what you guys think. If you would change anything or add anything, leave it in the comments. But this is what we have so far. And I also wanted to show you guys a few ways that you can style this vase. I decided to add florals in it, but the florals that I added are different from these tulips. Anyway, I still wanted to show you what it would look like if you added some pops of color. And if you're going on the lighter side for spring, then you can add in these florals. This is actually just one stem together. I got these from Kirkland's. They were $7.99 for all of this. And this is what it looks like in this particular vase. I thought this was really pretty, nice and soft and perfect for like Mother's Day or Easter. I decided that I wanted to balance it out a little bit more by adding some greenery on the right side. So I'm using these stems that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They were $5.99 each with 50% off, so not too bad there. And I just went in and added three of the stems, bent them up pretty good so that they could go at the top of that shelf. Now that we have the shelf styled and I love how they came out, we're gonna style the couches. This can always be kind of tricky for me. I am learning that I like threes, but I just need to find the right sizes. So tried a couple things, but I end up going with this one. And I like my little happy spring pillow because it just makes me happy. So you gotta decorate with things that make you happy. Um, and then I threw in my little crate and barrel vase right here, added in some more tulips, kind of folded all of my throw blankets 
kits together in this little basket. Now I got this basket for fall from Kirkland's and I'm telling you, I use it all the time. So really, really love it. On to our other sofa. All of these pillows came from Target as well. And this cream one is by far my favorite. Love the size. They're 24 by 24 and the kids just love lounging on them. So really love how these colors all blended together. All right, sweet friends. Well, that is everything for part one of my spring decorate for 2022. Be sure to stick around because I'm sharing part two probably in the next week to come. So love for you to stay for that. But if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.